This is the energy vibration reading for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibrations that is coming in. Thank you so much. Please remember to cross watch. It is very important. And listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. If this is the first time you're here, please like and share these videos. Share, 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 and um let other people know connect um, it is the last week the fifth week of January 2000 and um, <coughs> sorry 19 and it is your birthday energy vibration time you have the energy of the moon the energy for this week is energy of the moon it is water it is the scorpions and the cancers that you're going to be having to deal with that energy of water the, 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 that water energy so it's emotion it's going to be a very emotional week because you're going to be finding out things about people situation that has been affecting you so if you'd like to have a personal reading for the month of February it is good to ask for a personal reading for the month of February so again thank you for being here let's look at your week and let's see what is coming in um, we have the energy of the four of um, the two of Pentacles so some of you um, um, this is an earth energy on Monday um, the two of Pentacles okay um, that is an earth energy then we have the energy of the Empress this is a wonderful positive energy that is going to be coming out wonderful energy this is about your financial stability materialistic and nurturing then we have the King of Pentacles so this is a wonderful energy where um, some of you could this could be your father um, that is coming in to help you out or it could be someone in power an older person that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn now um, the four of ones is here you have a strong foundation whether this person you're dealing with whether it's at, at work or home you have a strong foundation with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person a very strong foundation it is a karmatic situation so again it is um, um, saying that it could be a family member or someone from the past that you're dealing with or someone from the past that is about to come back in your life whoever this person is they are going to be very nurturing very helpful very supporting to you it is someone from the past that is um, returning in your life and this is going to be good now the energy of the three of cups some celebration is coming in on Saturday um, it is the weekend is an emotional but positive emotional for some of you for some of you it could be that you are in a little dip trying to find out things trying to find out what way you are you're in the energy of the hangman trying to figure out what is going on and a little dip in your life but not to worry about it because it's going to be over so energy of the world comes up for you guys a very positive energy that is here for you Aquarians in this week so this is good there's a lot of hurt energies that is balance you out in a water week in a water year um, so there is a lot of uh, um, energies that is balancing you out and this is a really really positive because there you're seeing the energy of the two of Pentacles and wonderful positive energies that is about to come out okay so whatever that was happening um, we're going to be um, taking a look to see what is transpiring and what is going to how this situation is going to be affecting you um, whatever that is transpiring and what is happening for you we're going to be taking a look um, now as we look at the first half week the first um, half of the week some of you have to make a decision about your materialistic possession and your materialistic um, needs okay some of you definitely definitely have to make that decision there is going to be oops see oh a new start that is going to be coming in for some of you there's definitely a new start that is going to be coming in for some of you the weekend is looking good some of you are going to be celebrating an end to a situation and is going to be thinking um, about how to move forward some of you are going to be basically just trying to find yourself now the energy of a hurt energy is here because we begin the week with um, the hurt energy the center of your week is a uh, endings with new positive beginnings so direct ending as uh, ended and a new positive beginning is coming in um, this is going to be good some of you could be um, offered a new job in this week um, whoever this king of Pentacles is this person is coming in and as you look around him there is just positive energy it's as if he's going to be bringing 
positive energy into your life and bring in positive energies around you whoever the king of Pentacles is so um, you have a strong foundation with him there's nothing to be worried about that sort of a thing you have a very strong foundation with him okay um, the energy of the Empress is here it's a nurturing energy so some of you are going to be feeling that nurturing energy especially the ladies you're going to be feeling your feminine energies coming up so um, um, there is some deception um, that has transpired and you could be finding it out so some of you could be finding out that um, there was um, really 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 some deceptive deception that has transpired with your materialistic world or materialistic situation okay that someone has used your information okay this is going to be coming out and um, the people are going to be caught okay king of Pentacles what are you here bringing for um, the energies of uh, um, the Aquarians ace of cups okay so the Aqu so um, the Prince of Pentacles to have the love new love for you guys whoever you are the Prince of the um, this this King of Pentacles is bringing some new love for you guys okay this could be a father figure it's coming up as a father figure but if you are in the same age group with this person it's really really he wants love it's it's all about love for him Okay, the four of wands. What is the four of wands energy? There was some regret. It was uh, as if you both had a relationship before. There was some regrets, and now it's as if this person is coming back to kind of heal a situation that has gone wrong. Okay, so this person is basically coming back to heal a situation that has gone wrong, and um, give give him or her. Um, the time to do it so that whatever the situation is it will be ill it's a karmatic situation the wheel of fortune is here so you guys have number 12 in this week number 12 is the energy vibration that is basically plain in this week for you guys because here you're seeing that the energy of uh, um, the Angman comes up in the same reverse form as it is uh, initiated in so obviously um, a lot of you are um, in yourself you're in yourself you've taken yourself away you are basically in yourself you're trying to figure out what is transpiring you're basically in yourself you're trying to figure out what is transpiring around you okay celebrations is coming up what is the three of cups celebration for the Aquarius the Sun moon and rising sign what is the energy of celebration for the Aquarius Sun moon and rising sign we have um, celebration after um, lies and deception celebration after lies and deception so it could, it could you know be careful that you are not the person or another person has done this to you okay and the hangman energy is with the energy of the lover so some of you Aquarians are worried about your relationship um, um, you could be pregnant and you're worried about your relationship um, some of you who are in relation uh, who are in a relation with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and you have a child with this person there is uh, some worries about this child okay so you and this person is reconnecting over um, because you have a relationship some of you could um, um, have a connection between the king of pentacles so it's a taurus virgo or a capricorn some of you have a child with this person and um because of this child um this person is reconnecting with you and this person has love for you so it's a sort of a healing that is coming in um it is definitely a sort of a healing that is coming in for the people who are in relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this man loves you okay whether it's your father whether it's your brother whether it's your um, partner your husband a whole um, um, boyfriend or so this person really do love you okay this person have a big love for you they're very they, they have always loved you the love has never died They're, they've always loved you um, whatever has transpired between you both um, that is now coming to an end and Elon is coming in but whoever this person is they've always loved you you and this person may have shared a child 
and um, because of this child you two are going to be reconnecting okay this is definitely definitely um, a past life situation it is definitely a past life situation that is regaining for a lot of you I'm seeing that um, some of you you have regrets about a house situation you have regrets about a work situation you have really regrets about a house situation and a work situation and we're going to be seeing if we have enough time so we can um, take a little look at what exactly is happening um, um, because what we're seeing here transpiring there is so much that is going on is that we're seeing the energy of uh, a new start is coming in some of you have to make a decision whether or not you want what direction you want to go it's definitely that some of you really have to make um, a decision what direction you want to go in and here we're seeing the energy of uh, um, some deception with your materialistic um, gains some deception with your materialistic gains so let's take a look at this and what is the seven of swords uh, five of swords the five of swords with the Empress what is this five of swords with the Empress five of swords with the Empress has to do with some of you could have a, a deceptive situation um, overseas Okay, where where some um, money was stolen from you, or your information was used, or that sort of a thing, and this is going to be um, um, really um, find out. Okay, what are we having with the four of ones and the five of cups? So um, four of ones, five of cups. What are we having there? Okay. Um, some of you are going to be reconnecting with a friend some of you could be sharing house with a friend and you know you have some regrets or some of you could be waiting to find a place um, some of you have some regrets about a situation that has transpired at your work also okay the three of cups with the ten of swords okay what has transpired the three of cups with the ten of swords um, it's with a, with a man with someone who you love so on Saturday some of you are going to be having a situation where you have found out something about your partner about some lies and deception um, situation or you're just in your head whether or not you should go forward with this uh, relationship because here you can see that you're trying to figure out should I go forward with this relationship okay um, is this what I want is this a the relationship that I want in my life because obviously um, you're not feeling valued in this relationship whatever the situation is you're not feeling valued in this relationship and here you are seeing that you are going to be thinking whether or not should I go forward with this relationship because <coughs> it's as if you have been old back on this relationship whatever that has transpired now um, number five and number 12 is going to be your energy vibration for this week number five and number 12 five is really transition so some of you are going to be deciding to make some changes okay some of you are going to be reconnecting with um, uh, a, a, a soulmate or a twin flame okay a soulmate or a twin flame now if you notice the energy of the hangman is that you're trying to think and find out what is going on why is this person returning in my life and most of the time when people return in your life it's because you did not end a karmatic situation because obviously there is the wheel of karma and there is all these energies and situation that needs to be um, healed before a situation can move forward in your life so you know healing needs to come in before situation can be moved out a lot of you could be getting pregnant um, in this week okay um, the world a lot of people could be getting pregnant in this week so you have to be aware of that whatever that is happening and transpiring a lot of you could be really getting pregnant a new love is coming in your life a lot of you could be getting pregnant or there is going to be that you the baby comes that you're going to be having the baby okay so a lot of people could be getting pregnant in this week so be aware of this and it could be that you're going to be having the baby the baby is going to be coming if you're pregnant so be aware of that because the the 
Ace of Wands, the end of a situation, a new birth. Okay, Page of Cups. This is definitely the energy of a baby. Now, I'm seeing also um, situation with kids, but new love is coming in, and um, whoever this person is, this is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. You could have this person could have got gotten pregnant, or um, or get you pregnant in this week. So be careful of this this king. As Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man be careful of him because you might just get pregnant from him in this week okay um, the eight of cups is here some of you do not know if you want this love some of you do not know if you want this person back in your life some of you just don't know if you really want this person back in your life some of you are just trying to heal a situation you are not um, you're not sure what it is but you're you're opening up yourself but you're not sure what it is so obviously there is some karmatic situation that needs to be healed in this week okay oh la la so let's see what's the card from the angels and saint children so obviously it says it's itself some of you need to work on your inner child a child could be born or you could be getting pregnant in this week so it's the guided angels of children that is going to be here if it's not if you don't have children you don't want children then it's going to be your inner child okay so wonderful namaste until next time 